Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to install QEMU KVM hyperwireless kernel modules and add a virtual machine manager in a Linux operating system. Also, you'll see how to create a virtual machine with Windows and how to recover data from a KVM virtual machine disk. KVM, which stands for Kernel-Based Virtual Machine, is an open-source full virtualization solution for Linux systems. Just like VirtualBox and VMware Workstation, KVM is a Linux kernel virtualization tool that turns it into a hypervisor. Such hypervisor lets users run isolated instances of other operating systems within the host system. A virtual machine manager is a piece of software with graphical interface used to control virtual machines. With this manager, you can operate a virtual machine both locally and over the network, for example via SSH protocol. If there is a reason preventing you from installing VirtualBox or VMware on Linux, you can try KVM instead. Within a few minutes, I'll show you in detail how to add modules that ensure full-scale KVM operation with the example of Ubuntu 2004. Before you begin, it's necessary to find out if your computer's CPU supports KVM and hardware virtualization features. If this command returns the, the result 0, your CPU doesn't support virtualization. Luckily, everything is OK in my case, so we can continue with the installation. The next step is to add one more tool to check compatibility. Use this command. After that, check if KVM can be used with another command. If KVM is supported, uh, the operating system will inform you about your chances to use KVM acceleration. KVM acceleration can be used. If your hardware is incompatible, you'll see a notification saying KVM can't be run. Before installation, update repositories with the command apt update. To add required KVM packages, run the command install with the package names. Software ensuring hardware emulation for KVM hypervisor. Configuration files required to run libvirt as a system service. Software to manage virtualization platforms. A set of command prompt tools to configure other net bridges, a set of command prompt tools to create virtual machines, a graphical interface, and command prompt tools required to manage virtual machines via libvirt. When asked to agree or disagree, hit yes, press enter, and wait until the installation is complete. After KVM packages are installed, run the commands to start and enable their booting with the operating system. If the Virtual Machine Manager displays an error message, restart the computer. Now that the server is configured, let's run the Virtual Machine Manager with this command. Or do it with the Applications menu by clicking on the program shortcut. In order to create a virtual machine, click on the computer icon in the top left corner. In the window that opens, choose how to install a virtual machine with the help of ISO image and click Forward. In the next window, specify the path to the previously downloaded ISO image of the operating system by clicking the Browse button. Select it, click Choose Volume, and then Forward. After that, specify the amount of system memory and the number of processors you'd like to allocate for this virtual machine and look at some other settings. Finally, give the name for this machine and click Finish. When you do it, the virtual machine will boot automatically and the installation of the operating system from the image will begin. You can visit our channel for a few dedicated video tutorials about installing an operating system. As we know, losing data is something inevitable that every user has to face sooner or later. Here is a list of things that typically cause loss of data from a virtual machine. Accidentally removed files, disk formatting, failure to mount a virtual file, damage to index files, unexpected power failure, hypervisor issues, and so on. To restore virtual machine files, you need specialized software to find and save the missing information, and such programs are known as data recovery tools. 
For starters, let's explore where to look for virtual machine files and how to recover them if the machine cannot be opened, its operating system refused to boot, or if some files were accidentally removed or damaged. To extract virtual machine file from the disk, use Hetman Partition Recovery. It supports all popular file system formats and can help you restore data after deleting, formatting, and hardware or software errors. Connect the hard disk to a Windows computer and start the scan. You can find KVM virtual machine files by following this path. The file name corresponds to the virtual machine name, and this is a file with the extension QCOW2, recovered to any available location. If you have a Linux computer, you can try to access the files even without using specialized tools. Upload the virtual machine file into the manager, start the machine, and get the information you are looking for. If you fail to boot a virtual machine after system repair operations, or there is an error when you try to start it, don't give up. Use our program to open that file and recover all of its data. To do it, find the Tools tab, click Mount Disk. In the window that opens, you will choose the disk image type, then check the list for your virtual machine name or choose the corresponding file extension and click Next. Give the path to the folder containing the files by clicking on Select Folder. The program will add all virtual machine files located in that folder. If you need to work on a specific one, uncheck all other boxes. To start looking for data, right-click on the disk and choose Open. Then choose Analysis Type. Try a fast scan first. You can see that the program finds all files remaining on the disk without difficulty. The red cross indicates the ones which have been deleted. Click on a file to see its contents in the preview window. To quickly find a specific file, there is a Search by Name feature. Select the files you need to restore and click Recovery. Specify the disk where to save the files and click Recover again. As we all know, virtual machines offer a good protection against data loss. However, even with all their advantages, such machines cannot guarantee full protection. While working with them, you may encounter various issues such as software errors, crashes, human errors like accidentally removing files or formatting the hard disk, and so on. If you ever lose data from a virtual machine, we recommend using a powerful data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. It supports most virtual disk file formats such as VMDK, VDI, VHD, VHDX, HDD, HDS, QCOW, QCOW2, IMG, COW, QED. With the trial version, you can evaluate the program's effectiveness before actually paying for the license. You only need the full version to save the files. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments of the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.